to the home of stars and megastars. It's a Wednesday evening here in Lagos, Nigeria, and I am so happy to welcome you into the service today. Although, whatever time of day it is in your own part of the world, I'd like to ask, how are you doing? This month we're talking about the presence of God and the Bible says that in the presence of God there is fullness of joy. So we are here to bask in the joy of the Lord because we are in his presence in the course of this service. Before I continue, don't forget to share the link with all your friends, family members and loved ones. Let them be a part of today's service and also get blessed along with each and every one of us. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we say thank you for your goodness, your love, your care. Thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence today. We say be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, as we come into your presence, oh God, I pray that your joy will be full in our lives in Jesus' name and that you will touch each and every one of us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Well, it's time to join the present worship and I will see you right after. Bless your name, the one who was and is and is to come. For you will show me the path of life. You will show me the path of life. For in your presence is fullness of joy. <laughs> and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Lift your voice and give him glory wherever you are. All over the world this evening, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are. Just begin to worship him. Just begin to honor him. The one who rides upon the wings of the wind and thrown in the midst of the cherubim, we worship you. We salute you, we celebrate you. Great and mighty God you are, yes. Blessing and honor and glory and power be to the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever. Hey, we give you glory because you are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, 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 worthy. You are worthy. Oh God, you are worthy. Oh God, you are worthy. Oh God, you are worthy, worthy, worthy. We're coming to your presence by the blood of the Lamb. We're coming to your presence by the blood of the Lamb. We're coming to your presence by the blood of the Lamb. We're coming to your presence by the blood of the Lamb. You are worthy. You are whole. Strong and mind. Great I am you are. You are whole. You are worthy. Strong and mind. Great I am you are. You are whole. You are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are, you are holy, you are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are, you are holy, you are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are, you are holy, you are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are, you are holy. You are worthy, great and mighty, strong I am, you are, you are holy, you are worthy, you are mighty, great I am, you are, you are holy, you are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are, you are holy, you are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are. You are holy, you are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are, you are holy, you are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are, you are holy, you are worthy, strong and mighty, great I am, you are. Oh 
There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you.
<laughs> every man, ah, yeah, yeah. every man, every man, every woman, every tribe, every kindred, every nation, every kingdom, every generation will bow down and say, You are king. So let's start right now. Why won't we wait? King of glory, feel this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. of the Lord is in that place. Right where you are, the presence of the Lord is in your room. Right where you are, the Lord is feeling that place. Receive the presence of the Lord. Receive the presence of the Lord. Receive the King of glory. Into your marriage, into your business, into your heart, into your heart, into your heart. King of glory, the King of glory. It's coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, for the King of glory to come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts. Lift your voice and say, King of glory.
up your voice lord the heavens open over me lord as i stay in your presence this evening lord chains are broken in my life will you say that prayer lord in the name of jesus in your presence let there be fullness of joy lord let change come in my life in the mighty name of jesus lord we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Thank you, Lord, because this is a night of encounter for someone. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, your presence will cause a shift in our lives. There's a miracle in this service for someone. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Will somebody shout a big, big hallelujah? Amen. All right. I would like to say a big welcome to everyone joining us in our service uh, today god bless you we trust god that uh, his presence right here i uh, will touch you wherever you are in the mighty name of jesus this covenant that we have with god uh, that it will totally change our lives we say in this that the word works wonders the word will work wonder in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. But for wherever you are joining us today, uh, you are streaming, uh, maybe you are joining us live on live.daystarng.org, uh, joining us on all our social media platform. We'd like to say a big welcome to you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, here in Daystar, it's our midweek service. Uh, it promises to be a wonderful time here in God's presence. Please sit tight be expectant god will bless you in this service in the name of jesus uh, but on sundays we also have services you know running also uh, all over um at our different centers and of course you can join us online this service is of course of course on demand and it promises to be an amazing time god bless you in the mighty name of jesus we say in this star that the world works wonders so please continue to join us on our platform and god will bless you in jesus name but especially this evening i would like to say a big welcome to everyone joining us for the first time if you're joining us first time for your for the first time online thank you so much uh, wherever you are whatever platform you are on our officials are right there saying welcome to you uh, leaving you a link uh, maybe you are watching us on our mid platform uh, there's a banner at the bottom of the screen that you can click and then leave us your details so that we can stay in touch with you thank you thank you so much for joining us uh, this is day star uh, we call it the home of stars and mega stars we have just one assignment from god that assignment is to raise role models and as you have joined us today we are praying for you that yours will be the next testimony of a role model in the mighty name of jesus we have testimonies here yeah? and you also will have a testimony in the mighty name of jesus please note that our officials are right there uh, they are speaking to you leave us your details we would like to stay in touch with you especially if you're joining us online we have an, a wonderful vibrant online community uh, please join us and god will bless you in the mighty name of jesus the grace upon this star will rest upon your life in the name of jesus 
All right, the time has come for us to give in this service. Can we please prepare an offering for God? It's always a wonderful time to give to God here in Daystar. In Daystar, our giving is worship to God. It's an opportunity to be a blessing to the body of Christ. So please prepare an offering for God this evening. Uh, please remember that there are various means which can, which you, true means you can give in this service. I'm sure they are displayed on the on the screen already. Uh, if you are sending us uh, your, uh, maybe sending your offering into us. Us. the bank details are right there uh, if you are doing the transfer that is also fine please remember our platforms will not retain your offering let's uh, your 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 bank details please let's pray father we thank you for this privilege to give right here this evening lord we worship you with our giving we ask lord that you will bless your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let every need in everybody's life, let those needs be met in the name of Jesus. For everyone giving, Lord, I ask good measures, pressed down, shaking together, you will add to their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you so much for giving. Hallelujah. All right, before we take uh, the word of God this evening, I have a testimony here. Uh, please remember in days that the word works wonders and you will have your own testimony also. Uh, please remember you can send your testimony to us. Uh, just go to our website www.daystarng.org and leave us your testimony right here. Uh, this one was sent in by Kemi and I would like to read this testimony and I'm trusting God that this testimony uh, will be the same for some someone in Jesus name the title is I got a car gift this is the situation so I wanted a car so badly uh, because of my many movements but I did not want to use my money to buy one hmm. so that had been my request since the year 2019 I kept telling God that rather than use the money uh, my money and my savings to buy the car I would use it instead you know to further my charity organization now this is what God did sometime in August August this year is it uh, that that is a few weeks uh, a few weeks ago one of my sponsors blessed me with a car gift I am so grateful to God for honoring me and for honoring my faith praise the Lord with me God will honor your faith in the mighty name of Jesus God will send you unusual helpers unusual blessings in the name of Jesus all right can we just bow our heads the word of God is coming this evening it promises to be a wonderful time here this evening uh, we are talking about the presence of God will you pray Lord and uh, let me uh, encounter you in this service Lord touch me in this service let my life not remain the same Jesus uh, bless me in this service Jesus bless me in this service and uh, let something drop for me here today Lord the mountains saw you and the mountains moved uh, the sea saw you and the sea fled Father because of your presence today let something happen in my life will you say that prayer for yourself Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just worship the Lord this wonderful evening. Thank the Lord for his faithfulness, for his mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. In your presence, I am content. In your presence, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. I am content. In your presence, there is life. Expressions of your love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Libaga In your presence, there is Oh, Lord. Love of offering. I'm in the presence of my King. In your presence. In your presence. I am content. Oh, 
Oh yes, Lord Jesus, in your presence I am content. Oh Lord, I am content. Come on out in your presence. There is life. Expressions of your love. Yes, Lord. Revelations of your power. In your presence. In your presence, I can bring a love song of offering. I'm in the presence of my King. In your presence. In your presence, there is life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Expressions of your love. Oh, revelations of your power. Let's take it one more time. In your presence, in your presence, in your presence, there is life. Expressions of your word. Revelations of your power. Are grateful <laughs> Lord we are grateful we worship you Jesus in your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand pleasure pleasure forever thank you father Lord we thank you <laughs> oh thank you Jesus oh hallelujah I can feel your presence here Lord Jesus I can feel your presence here take all the glory this wonderful evening thank you father in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. We have worshipped. Praise the Lord. Please, I want the keyboard to, keyboardist to be on the keyboard. I want to welcome every one of us on the, in the service this wonderful evening. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for joining us in this service. I want you to get yourself ready because I know the power of the Lord is going to be resting and the grace of the Lord will rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. You know what? This month is a very wonderful month, a very exciting month, a month full with God's glory, a month full with God's power, a month where the presence and the power of the Lord will be made available, a month where you will be sharing your testimony, a month where the Bible says it shall be vanity, the works of error. In the time of his visitation, they shall perish. Listen to me. This is the month where God will visit you. Hallelujah. And I want you to get excited because God is going to visit you afresh even in this new month. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so excited concerning this month because I know that I'll be hearing phone calls of great testimonies. People believing God for the fruit of the womb. It is already happening. It is already happening. Hallelujah. If you are that person just on the chat room, you can say they are talking about me. It has happened this season, in the name of Jesus. I want you to get excited. Some of us believe in God for supernatural connection. This is your month because God is going to do something great. Remember what I said? In the presence of the Lord, according to the scripture, there is fullness of joy. In other words, if your joy has been stolen, this is your month where there will be restoration of joy. Even for you. And one of the things that will bring joy to some people is when there is divine connection. So I want you to, expect, to be expectant this month. Because it will happen for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want to welcome you once again to this wonderful service. I want us to get ourselves prepared. This month is a month. Uh, this is the first Wednesday in the month of October. And this month we'll be talking about the presence of God. The presence of God. That is going to be our focus throughout this month. And I want us to get prepared. Because in the presence of the Lord, mountain melt as wax. Amen. And, and if you have the presence of the Lord, God is going to ensure that things happen. You know, there is fullness of joy and there is pleasure. In other words, pleasure is exchanged with pleasure. 
in God's presence. So get ready this evening, this evening as we take the ride together. And this month we're going to be looking at so many, many things about the presence of the Lord. Why? Because God wants us to know that the reason why he has created us is for, all, for him to be with us. In the Garden of Eden, if you look at the scripture, you will see there that God desired to come down at every point in time. When the presence of the Lord is, nothing can stand against you. So this month we'll be looking at this series, praise God. We're going to be looking at the importance of the presence of the Lord, what can hinder the presence of the Lord, the place of the Holy Spirit, the presence of the Lord, and hearing from God and how you can create the atmosphere for the presence of the Lord and many, many, many more things. So I want us to get ready this month. I can say, I can say it again and again. This month is going to be very exciting for every one of us. But you need to know that God is there with you. God is there with you. I know some of us, we are going through challenges presently. There are some hardship. There are some hard things going around and many, many bad news around us. But listen to me. God is saying that I am there with you. I am there with you. And laying the foundation, we need to understand that the presence of the Lord is always there. The only thing there is that there is what we call the active presence. There is the passive presence. And there is what we call the manifest presence of God. But the presence of God is always there. Wherever place you are, please note this, the presence of the Lord is there. So we're going to be looking at it this morning, um, this evening, and throughout this month. How to activate the presence of the Lord. How to make the presence of the Lord um, an active one and not just a passive one. And we have the manifest presence of God of the Lord. Hallelujah. I can feel the presence of the Lord here. Come on, come on, come on. Can you play that thing very well? Let me, let me just feel the presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God. Hmm. I'm in your presence. Hallelujah. Oh, let it rain. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, let it fall on me. I am in your presence. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let it Zubala Baba Bush Gataya. Fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance. Thank you, Jesus. And cause your Thank you, Father. To fall on me. Open the floodgates. I want you to be expectant this evening. The presence of the Lord is here. And and your thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To fall on me. Amen, 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 amen. You know what? I'm getting so excited this evening because I can feel, I know He's always with us. So please, friends, get ready this month. It's going to be very, very powerful, very, very, very exciting. All right, praise the Lord. Like I said, the presence of the Lord is always with us you know the presence of the lord is always with us and i laid the foundation that there is what we call the active presence and there is the passive presence if you remember there was a time jesus called his disciples that let us go to the other side in the boat and when they were in the boat the bible said something that jesus went under the boat and he was sleeping now the waves comes the storm came and a lot of things started happening in the boat but at that point, they have forgotten that what Jesus was in the boat. And they were using their own strength. They were using their own ability. And that is what is going on in our society now as Christians and all that. We are actually using our own strength to get things done. Why? Though Jesus was there, but Jesus is in the boat. Passive presence of God. You know, until it got to a point when they have exhausted their strength, their energy. They don't have the strength again. They just remembered that Jesus is in the boat. And they went and activate Jesus. They went and wake Jesus. And then miracle happened. Listen, friends, what we're saying this month is you need to have the active presence and the manifest presence of the Lord in all that you do. And this evening, I'll be sharing with you, praise the, praise the Lord, I'll be sharing with you that the be, be conscious of the presence of God. That is the title. Be conscious of God's presence in your life. Be conscious of the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Like I said in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, he said, I will never leave you. He said, don't love money. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. 
Don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. I will never, I will never. Listen to me, friends. God will never fail you. And God will never abandon you. So note that God is there with us. So I will read this scripture, a very popular scripture that we are all very familiar with. Psalm 30, 23 from verse 1. Psalm 23 from verse 1. I'll just read the old book of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He make me to lie down in green pastures. He, led, he leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of the righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anointed my, my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. So I'm speaking this evening on be conscious of the presence of God. Be conscious of the presence or God's presence. Praise God. Now the scripture I just read here, Psalm 23 from verse 1. <laughs> you know, the, the thing that, that struck me in this scripture from what David was relating here, he said, whatsoever things I'm going through, it is God that is leading me. He was so conscious of God. He said, the Lord is my shepherd, I will not want. He is the one that make me lie down in green pastures. He is the one that led me. He is the one that led me beside still water. He is the one. So God is there. And that's what happens. And there are two people I'm going to be talking about among other people that actually understood the efficacy and the importance of the presence of God. This evening, friends, God wants to be there with you. Not just he wants to be there. He is there with you. Paul said it here. I mean, David said it here from verse 4, which is my major focus. He said, for though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil reason, for you are with me. You are with me. When you are conscious of the presence of the Lord, you will fear no evil. When you are conscious of the presence of the Lord, whatsoever things you are going through, you will discover that it's not meant to actually kill you, it's meant to make you. David said here, I will walk, though I walk through, not to walk in, I will walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will walk through. So listen to me, friends. The announcement this evening is that what you're going through, you are going through it. Not that it's meant to destroy you, not that it's meant to eliminate the grace of God in your life. No. Always have the consciousness of the presence of the Lord. But I've observed with time that so many people are so conscious of the devil. In our society, instead of being conscious of God, people are so conscious of the devil. They are so conscious of the evil that is happening around. And the truth is that <clears throat> whatsoever thing that you give attention will be that which will give you direction. I'll say it again. Whatsoever thing that you give attention to will give you direction. Listen, when you are present of the evil, that is where evil will go to. Anything that you give attention, you have the ability to activate. So God was telling me to, some years back when I was operating as a deliverance minister that, look, many people are so conscious of the devil, conscious of demon. That is why you see in ministries like that, it's always demon, demon. Mind, mind you, I'm not saying that there's no demon operating in the ministry. But I'm saying here that they are so conscious of the devil, and that is why you see devil operating there. They are conscious less of God. And he said, if people can spend time being conscious of the presence of God, they will not be conscious of who is against me. Paul, David said, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid where I stay. Why? Because the Lord is with me. And, and, and the truth here, friends, is that whatsoever things you give attention, we give you direction. 
You are so, so this, this evening, uh, uh, our focus here is for us to shift attention from what you have been paying attention to. All the news around us. You are paying attention to things that is not working around you. Why don't you focus on the things, on God, that can make things happen? I, I love Paul, um, David most of the time. Like I said, David is a clear example of somebody that believes so much in the presence of the Lord. I'm going to be picking one or two points concerning David's life and also I will talk about Joseph also, another very powerful person. Even, even, even look through the scripture, you'll see that Jacob himself experienced the presence of the Lord. And when he was traveling, he got to a point, he laid down and he slept. And then he saw the angels descending and he said, he said oh, and the presence of the Lord is here and I did not know. Can you imagine? And the moment he discovered that the presence of the Lord, wheresoever place it was, he always focused on the fact that God is with me. So all through David's journey, I mean Jacob's journey, when he went to Laban, he was always conscious that, look, God has promised, I'm going to be with you. And, and that's what I've come to say here, this, friends, that instead of you focusing on the devil or the evil around, focus on God. When the light comes, darkness cannot comprehend when light comes, darkness. So, when you focus on that, on God, listen to me, you are giving attention to God and God gives you direction. So, you are a, a magnet. You always attract your predominant thought. You are a magnet. Your life, you are a magnet. Whatever thing that you experience now is what has dominated your mind. So, if you allow God to dominate your mind and you are conscious of God, Ha, friends, listen to me. If you know who you are, listen to me, you have the capacity to do exploit. The Bible says, they that know the Lord shall do exploit, shall be strong, and they will do exploit. Why? Because they are conscious of the person that they serve. Amen. I, I, I've had experience with people, um, some, some, some occultic people said that this statement that most Christians don't know the kind of God that they serve. Said most Christians don't know the kind of aroma, the kind of light that they radiate. They, they are always afraid of Christians. But the Christians don't know. Why? Because they don't know. They, don't, they are not conscious of the presence of God. And most of the time they said that some of them usually run to, to, to them for assistance because they don't know the kind of God. They don't understand that God wants to change their situation and God has the capacity to change things for them. When you are conscious of God, things turn around for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, so le let me quickly um, pick uh, David, for example, that I, I was saying the other time. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, from verse 30, 32, 1 Samuel chapter 17, from verse 32, this is the story of David after he has been anointed, and then he came to the battlefield, <laughs> And then they were just talking and Goliath started talking and bragging and was shouting and was saying something that give me somebody uh, among you and I will kill the person and I will defile you. Ooh, and he was saying nasty things about the God of Israel. David heard it. And verse 32, David said, don't worry about the, these Philistines. David told Saul, I will go fighting. Don't be ridiculous. Saul replied, there is no way you can fight this Philistine and probably win. You are only a, a boy and is, a, and is being a man of war since his youth. But David persisted. I have been taking care of my father's sheep and goats. He said, while a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a claw and rescue the lamb from his mouth. If an, another, and an, if the animal turns to, on me, I catch it by the jaw and club it to death. I have done this to both lions and bears, and I will do it to this pagan Philistines too, for he has defiled the armies of the living God. Now verse 37, which is very important. For the law, that's what he said, for the Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from these Philistines. Saul so, finally cons consented. All right, go ahead, he said, and may the Lord be with you. Look at verse 37. The Lord who rescued me, he was conscious of the presence of God. David was someone that was very conscious of God and he was able to face those challenges. 
he was able to confront that particular issue. So it created that courage in bold and David, created that boldness in David to be able to face it. Why? Because he was conscious that, look, if God can do this, how much more this Philistines. If you look at verse, verse 57 uh, of 1 Samuel 17, the same thing. David replied to the Philistines, you come to me with sword. Verse 47 and uh, 45. He said, you come to me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord, of uh, the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Today, the Lord will conquer you. Can you see that? Today, the Lord will conquer you, while I, I will take the plot, the spoil. The Lord will conquer you, I will kill you, and I will cut off your head. Then, and then, I will give the dead bodies of your men to the birds and white animals. And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. And everyone assembled here will know that the Lord rescued his people but not with the sword or spear. This is the Lord's battle. And I will give you, and will give you to us. Can you see what David said here? Confidence of the presence of God. The Lord, this is the Lord's battle. He was confident that the Lord himself will conquer you. Not I, but the Lord. And that's what I'm saying here. That was one of the things. He understood the efficacy and the importance of the presence of God. Friends, no devil has the capacity to conquer you except the authority that you give to him. And today I've come to say to you, you need to take back the authority that you are giving to the devil. You need to take it back. Why? By understanding and being conscious of the presence of God. Of God. Look at the, the story of Joseph. The same thing applies to Joseph. Joseph understood the importance of the presence of the Lord. And, and in verse 2 of um, Genesis chapter 39, you will see there also, the Bible says in chapter, uh, verse 2 of Genesis 39, the Lord was with Joseph. So he succeeded in everything he did as he served in the house of his Egyptian master. The Lord was with him, and he was conscious of that, of that. David was so conscious that the Lord was with him, and everything he was doing, he was doing it with that consciousness. To the extent that the mother of the, the, the wife of the house was hiding David. Ah, this guy. Ah, this guy. But at a point, because he was conscious of the presence of the Lord, listen to me, <laughs> The, the, the woman came and was re ready to really affect him. Say, how can I do these things and sin against God? He was conscious of God. And, and, and to some extent, I always say that when you are conscious of God, you, it, it helps you to eliminate temptation. He was so conscious of God. And, and if you look through the scripture also, you will see another part of Joseph. Because of my time, I may not be able to um, read this whole scripture. But I just want us to understand that. Joseph also, despite the fact that he was thrown into prison, he was still conscious of the presence of God. In the, in the prison, he was helping people. Why? Because he knew God was with him. There was no offense in him. Amen. When you understand the presence of the Lord, the consciousness of the, the presence of God, listen to me, it helps you to interpret circumstances. It helps. But because you don't know that the Lord is with you, that is why you feel that somebody is doing you. Is the witch in your village? Is somebody that is trying to stand against your progress and all that? Listen to me. If God is for you, no one can be against you. If God is for you, I want you to sh type in the chat room right now and say, if God is, God is for me, there is nobody that can be against me. Nobody. So, working in that consciousness can make you to stand bold bold can make you to stand tall and say to the devil you cannot harass me listen they, Joseph had that encounter with God and all his life he helps to interpret every circumstances to the extent that even this the journey the brother that sold him he gave a better interpretation why because he knew that God was with me Praise God. If you look at the book of Genesis 45, verse 5, look at how David interpreted issues. 
Genesis 45, verse 5. He said, but don't be upset and don't, don't be angry with yourself for selling me to this place. It was God who sent me here ahead of you to preserve your lives. Can you see that? David said, you sold me, but the interpretation of that is God sent me. Can you see that? So when you understand the presence of the Lord, you will know that the scripture, that uh, anchor scripture that we use in my family, it says that uh, all things work together for my good. It laid you off your job. Just look at it. Interpret it from God's concept that everything, everything is working together for my good. Understanding that. So you need to be very conscious of the presence of the Lord, most especially with that which is going on in our community. You are more like a light. Not that you are more. You are the light of the world. You have what it takes to carry the grace of God. And when you have the presence of the Lord, you can do great things. Know that God and be conscious of that. The presence of the Lord is always everywhere. everywhere. He's always there for you. And he says, I will not make you fail. You will not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say you will not fail. You know, when I move into um, my, the, the place where I stay, and somebody came to me and was telling me about the environment, the work, the thing that is going on in the environment, and was trying to say, be careful, um, the... You may, the moment the person was saying it, I said it's because the reason why I said it is because you don't know who I am. <laughs> you don't understand who I am. You don't understand. If they burn them well, let them come and make any uh, sham or rituals in my own environment. I've come to this estate as the light. And today, listen to me, the light is shining. Hallelujah. The light is shining. Because I know and I'm conscious. When I'm walking, I'm conscious that God is with me. Even if things are not working, I know God is working everything out. God is just setting. He is, is a master chess player. He's working everything out for my good. Praise God. Be conscious of the presence of the Lord. And listen to me. When you are conscious of the presence of the Lord, number one, it guarantees your leading. When you are conscious of the presence of the Lord, it guarantees divine leading. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21, it says you will hear... Uh, my, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way working it. Whenever you turn to the right, uh, to the right hand, or whenever you turn to the left, when you are sure of the presence of the Lord and you are conscious of the presence of the Lord, there is always a word from behind you saying, walk in this place. Praise God. So, indirectly, I'm saying that if you need divine direction, listen to me, listen to God. God is there with you. Be conscious that God is with you. Uh -uh. He said, and I will give your angels charge over you. Like I said, David is somebody that rep 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 understood the presence of the Lord. And when he even missed it, he cried out. He said, Lord, you can take everything. You can take everything you like, but please, ha, Cast me not away from your presence, O oh Lord. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Oh, and renew our right spirit within me. Listen, he was so conscious of the presence of the Lord and was saying, Lord, take everything, but please don't take your presence away from me. <laughs> Moses said the same thing. He said, I, God said, I will go with you. He said, listen to me. If your presence will not go with us, we will not make a niche. If your presence will not go with us, listen to me. You need, as you are going to your place of work, you need to ensure that the presence of the Lord is going with you. Not just that. Be conscious of the presence of the Lord. Why? Because when you are sure the presence of the Lord is with you, it guides you. It leads you. Hallelujah. Number two, when you are sure and you are conscious of the presence of the Lord, it guarantees protection and it eliminates shame. I'll say it again. It guarantees your protection and it eliminates shame. Elimination of shame. Jeremiah chapter 
20, verse 10 to 11. I like this scripture because I, this, this scripture just spoke to somebody going through some financial pressure and your friends are about to mock you. They are saying, oh, let's wait and see. This person have, have, have not been pregnant for nine years. Let's see. Nothing can come out of you. And they are ready to mock you. He said, look, the presence of the Lord will change things for you. Jeremiah 20, verse 10. said, I hear many whispering. Terror on every side. Denouncing. That is what he said. Jeremiah 20 verse 10. Can you help me display that if you can? He said, denounce him. Let denounce him. All my friends are waiting for me to sleep. Saying, perhaps he will be deceived. Then we will prevail over him. And take our revenge on him. Verse 11. But the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. Can you see that? He said, so my persecutors will stumble and not prevail. He said, they will fail and be thoroughly disgraced. This dishonor will never be forgotten. Praise the Lord. The Lord is with me and he will turn my shame into fame. Hallelujah. Say that, say that. You can shout it. Say, just say, the Lord is with me and it will turn my shame into fame. Hallelujah. Listen to me. You need the presence of the Lord. It guarantees your protection. It eliminates every form of shame in your life. That is what happens. The scripture that we read, um, um, Psalm 32, verse 4. It says, for though I walk through the valleys of um, the shadow of, of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. In other words, the, 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 the consciousness of the presence of the Lord guarantees your comfort and eliminates fear. That is another point. The consciousness of the presence of God will guarantee comfort. And it also eliminates fear. So, when you have the presence of God said, though I'm walking through the, the shadow, it's just a shadow, it's not even death. I will fear no evil. Why? Because the Lord is with me. So, go out there and say, the Lord is with you. Listen to me. You might be rejected before, be rejected in your music the ministry, in your career and all that. Listen to me. If the Lord with you, is with you, don't be afraid. Go again. <laughs> go again. Just go with that consciousness that God is with you. Somebody said a statement that they, in my office, they, there are some people that they usually pull something on the chairs that says I will not make progress. It's because it can, they can harm other people, but you, they cannot harm you. Why? Because the presence of the Lord is with you. Go with that consciousness. I will fear no evil. Not only that, the rod of the Lord and the, 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 the staff of the Lord, they will comfort me and they will console me. So if you want to be comforted, Activate the presence of the Lord in your life, in your business. That's why throughout this month, all you need to be doing, God be saying, Lord, let your presence go with me. Let your presence go with me. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. That's what you should be saying. Lord, let your presence go with me. Let your presence go with me. Oh, we give you praise. Oh, Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let the presence of the Lord go with me. David, uh, so, um, if you look at um, Joseph also, one of the other points is that when you have the fear of the Lord in you, it guides your steps and lead you not into temptation. It guides your steps. It eliminates every appearance of evil. Reason why people are collecting bribes here and there is because they are not conscious that the presence of the Lord is with them. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. So if you want to be stay sane, always activate the presence of the Lord. Listen, in the book of um, Psalm, um, yes, Psalm 39, the story of Joseph. You know, I, I was sharing with us when the, Joseph had been made, even in the, in, the, in the house of the Potiphar. The wife started, you know, pursuing him. Let me, jump, let me just read verse um, 7 from verse 7. And the Potiphar's wife of um, Genesis 39, verse 7. And the Potiphar's wife soon began to look at him lustfully. Come and sleep with me, she demanded. 
But Joseph refused. Look, he told her, my master trusts me with everything in, the, in this entire household. No one, and no one here has more authority than I do. He has held back nothing from me except you because you are his wife. How will I do such a wicked thing? It will be a great sin against God. Now look at verse 10. The Bible said, And she kept putting pressure on Joseph day after day. I love Joseph. He said, But Joseph refused to sleep with her. And not only that, and he kept out of her way as much as possible. Every form of appearance of evil, because of the fear of the Lord that Joseph had, he always move away from it. People are they're, they're in, a, in a place where people are saying things will not work out and all that. You are there, and if nothing will happen, listen to me, they are sowing negative seed. Somebody is saying nothing is wrong in having two wives and all that, and you are there listening to things like that. Joseph will not even permit such things. Why? Because he had the fear of God. Listen to me, you need to change your association now. And create an atmosphere for God. Why the presence of the Lord is, listen to me, the Bible says there is fullness of joy. That is one of the things that the presence of the Lord guarantees. Fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. The last point I quickly want to mention here is that when you have the presence and you are conscious of the presence of the Lord, eh, the Lord himself ensure that you are at peace. When you are and um, conscious of the presence of the Lord, that presence guarantees peace. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 says, it will, keep in, it will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Whose thoughts are fixed on you. Whose thought, in other words, who is so conscious of the presence of God. This evening, friends, God is crying out. He said, if only my people can be conscious that I'm there with you. The Bible call it the present help in times of need. The present help is always there. It's always there. And he wants to help you. He wants to give you direction. He wants to take you off what you are going through, even to heal you, because the presence of the Lord has the power to restore that which has been stolen. This month, I want us to get ourselves prepared and all we need is let us walk with that consciousness. Nothing, no evil shall befall you in the name of Jesus. This hour, the power of the Lord will come upon you. God's grace will rest upon you. Your life will never remain the same. You will not be stranded anymore because the presence of the Lord is going with you. I want to pray for someone here listening to me this evening. I declare that everything the devil has used to handicap your progress, to handicap you today, because the presence of the Lord comes, that thing goes away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every shame in your life come to an end in the name of Jesus. From this day forward, doors begin to open. Favor begin to open. Why? Because the presence of the Lord is going with you. In your place of work is your turn for promotion. In your place of ministry, everywhere you might be, maybe you have been struggling in your ministry, today, the divine direction come in the name of Jesus. As you go, the presence of the Lord will go with you. Even if you have missed it, the presence of the Lord changed things for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for someone here this evening that want to say to the Lord, I know I've missed it. I don't have the presence of the Lord anymore. You have the opportunity to return to the Lord. All you need to do this evening is for you to ask the Lord Jesus, come into my life. I need your presence. I need your presence. I need your presence. All you need, if you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus because that is the only license for the presence of the Lord to come into your life. All you need to do is, wherever place you are watching me from, place your right hand on your chest and I will pray with you and the presence of the Lord will come upon you and then it will make doors open up to you. Pray right now, place your right hand on your chest and I want to pray with you. If you are part of the people that maybe you are backslidden into sin, you are no longer in faith or you are not sure of the presence of the Lord, listen to me, this is an opportunity. Your circumstances can change if you can allow the presence of the Lord to fill you up. Allow the presence of the Lord to fill you up. 
So you can join those people placing their right hand on their chest. Join them also and rededicate your life to Jesus. And I'll pray with you right now, right now, right now. Just do it. Do it right now. Yes, thank you for doing that. Thank you, my brother and my sister that has placed their right, right, right hand on their chest. I want to pray with you because the presence of the Lord will make things change for you and place you to a place of glory and give you your own inheritance. I want to pray with you right now. I want you to repeat this word after me. For those of us placing our right hand on our chest, I want, to re I want you to repeat this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you. I know I am a sinner, but today I have come to you. Forgive me. Today I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Fill me afresh. Today I dedicate myself to you. Be the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Because there is joy in heaven. For those ones that have just returned to you this morning, this evening. Oh God, I'm so glad for that brother, for that sister that said to you, I surrender all. I pray for that person, Lord, that from today, your presence will go with you, with him. Your presence will go with her. In the name of Jesus, things are turning around for your good. And the blessings of the blessings of the Lord will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I pray for everyone listening to the teaching today. I pray fresh grace is released over you. Things are turning around for your good. And this season, this month, is your month of joy, your month of lifting, your month of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because, Lord, your presence will be evident in the life of everyone. And your glory will be seen over everyone this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, come on, come on. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that you are you have joined us in this service today. I pray that the blessings of the Lord will rest on you in Jesus' name. Please, if you give your life to Jesus in our chat room right now, you have a convert link. Click it and drop your information. We will send some resource materials to you that will help you grow more in faith. And I know that this season, the power of the Lord will begin to bring forth blessings over your direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. All right, friends, thank you for joining us this service. I want you to enjoy grace and pray, Lord, let your presence be with me. Choir, let your presence be with me. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. So
temple. this experience it's available on our website and also on our youtube channel the website is www.daystarng.org and also you can share with your friends family members and loved ones that might have also missed this service thank you so much once again for joining us and enjoy the joy of the lord as you go in his presence bye for now